he's pushing all right. Because that's the other thing. People think, well, he's perhaps not pushing. <laughs> what made me start, thank you, what made him, me start doing this was there was this big guy in Greece. And he was, he was beating everybody up in Athens. He was a second man. He was beating everybody up. And um, he was quite a bully on the mat. And you can't go up to him and say, please don't train like... I mean, some people would, but I, I'm not the sort of person to say, please don't train like that. But, so I had a conversation with him, asked him where he trains, a few questions. And he said, oh, it doesn't matter where I go, nobody can do Aikido on me. So I said, do you have a, a Ken? He said, yes. I said, get, get your Ken. And I'd done this. And I'm holding him like this. And I go, are you pushing? And, and I always remember he was like this. And his feet were skidding on the mat as he was trying to push. And at the same time, he was looking at me like that, thinking, how are you doing that? Because it's defying angles. See, there's no... Where you was pushing, it's defying angles. So your mind can change the angle of a person... So if we, um, if you come this way, I'm going to go through it all. I'm just trying to, sorry, if you come here. Okay, and then you're here, and I'm behind him. What I had to do was, yeah, you sit comfortably if you want. You can stay in Sazer, I don't mind. It's, uh, so what I'm doing is, I mustn't go too quick. I must do that over him. But here, I'm still connected, but only mentally but can you feel, can you feel something? Because you can't see my hand. So he can't feel it. So he doesn't know. But I, as long as my mind is connected to him, I don't need him to be connected to me. And I often say when I'm teaching you, two people must become one. And I'm the puppet of this person. You can't throw people without touching them like this, you can't throw people without touching them if you want to dominate them, if my ego wants to dominate them. You've got to, you've got to go along, you've got to go along with them. So that was a physical movement. This is a, that's a much lighter movement. That's a much lighter, again, see each time I'm, I'm doing it lighter and lighter, You see, until because what I've done is I've now got inside his mind, but he doesn't know I've got inside his mind. You see, all we've really done is we've become attuned. And you might see lots of different teachers, but you might like certain teachers, their charisma or just the way they teach Aikido or they do something. So, stay there. So when we get um, Terminucci, and I do, or we do techniques like this, really, it's not done physically, it's done on a mental level. Because what I'm doing is, I'm leading him mentally. All right, so I've learned how to do, do this mentally so even though you're seeing the outside results I'm going over here over here I'm going over here over here over here <laughs> he, he doesn't know how it's being controlled but he's going there because that seems to be the only thing to do so right there's a dark side to this as well as a good side and I've done both because when I was younger my ego wanted to do it and get pleasure out of it and then later on you sort of like work out I shouldn't be doing that so there is yin and yang in my opinion to this art but oh sensei 
would do this as he got older. He, you, know, the, you would see the ikkyos being performed smoothly and easily, but really he's, <laughs> but really he's not hardly touching them. So what I'd like you to do is take, uh, take your finger and your palm Could be mine, never has rung in all the years I've had it, but uh, is it mine? My, no, it might be mine. Yeah, could be. I ne it never, Jane is the only.